In a previous video with Sai Pranith Reddy Karimi Reddy, a PhD candidate of the IC School at EPFL, we discussed the basics of federated learning. In short, it's about performing local computations to avoid data transfer and then sharing some results of these computations called the gradient to perform collaborative learning, typically by averaging the local gradients. But we also saw that this technique sometimes failed. Why so? The reason why for this federated averaging algorithm does not work is uh, so one machine trains its model completely ignoring everyone else. And this is intuitively not the right thing to do. Like, I, should not be, I should not train my model for my data. I should be training my model for the combined data. Mm. Right? Uh, these two are not necessarily the same thing. They can be quite different from each other. So how can this be fixed? The idea we had was instead of just training on my own data, I also maintain a guess for what everyone else is going to be doing. Mm. So this is just one small, I just maintain a guess for what everyone else is going to be doing combined. Like no, And then I use this guess to pretend as if all the, all the, I have all the data on my own machine. And then I use this, I incorporate this guess and do my training algorithm. And whenever I again talk to all the other machines, I not only uh, update my model, I also update my guess. And just by changing the small, small trick, we, we theoretically prove that uh, it, it converges much faster. And we have uh, even experimentally, we show that it converges much faster. This is clever, and probably for us humans as well. Especially if we expect to be exposed to biased data, instead of fitting to our biased data, it makes sense to anticipate what other humans exposed to data with other biases will be telling us, and to include this to determine what we should believe. What does this guess mean? So this guess is, uh, is saying, what are the gradients of everyone else going to look like? So this is what this guess is trying to do. So initially, I'll just guess, say, zero. Initially, I have no information. I'll just guess zero. Uh, and then I do my updates. But in the next, after, uh, after I talk to everyone else, I see what their gradients were actually like. And then I just take this average of these gradients and use this as my new guess. And then uh, I, I use this as my new guess, use this in the algorithm, run some updates. And then again, in the next round, I'll talk to everyone else, see their new gradients and say, okay, this was, my guess was incorrect. I should use this as my new guess and so on. So I just make, I just start arbitrarily and then keep correcting it. Let's illustrate this with a very basic example. So say, say uh, this is X1 star, this is X2 star and in, in the first round, uh, so machine one wants to go here, machine two wants to go there. In the first round, they do not have any other information. So they just go like this. And then uh, you, we average them and they go, get, go here. Mm -hmm. But now machine one sees, so, so the things which are being communicated to machine one is, is this new point. So the parameters, the new parameters, and also the average gradient of X2. So now machine two knows that X2 tends to move in this direction. Mm -hmm. So in the next round, what it will do is it will it'll take its gradient step and then it will add this correction. It will take its gradient step and then it will add its correction and so on. So now it, it goes there. And similarly, machine, machine two will see that uh, the updates of machine one tend to go in this direction. So it will take its step, add its correction, take its step, add its correction. Take it, and, uh, and now it goes here. So now you average these two and this is your new point. Crucially, this framework is very efficient if local data are extremely different, which is often the case in practice. So in particular, we prove that our algorithm does not depend on how the data is distributed amongst the different machines. So machine one could have one kind of data, and machine two could have completely different kind of data. So for example, if we talk about this mobile phones, uh, some, some people type in English, some people type in French, some people type in, in Hindi, 
but all of them use the same Latin alphabet. And so by just looking at the alphabet, you can, it, it's not possible to figure out the language. Uh, but you need different, if you, if you, but the data sets, the optimum for, for training with English versus the optimum for training with Hindi is completely different. And so if you just run the naive algorithm, which is this federated averaging, it wouldn't really work as well. This is very cool. 